What's up guys, this is Matthew Ben. Thought I would make this video to show y'all. We recently visited the Mint of Denver, the Denver Mint, and uh, I got some stuff there I thought I'd show you that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, first, I just want to start with this. I didn't get this from the Denver Mint, but, but I got it from this coin shop at Denver, and the lady... That I got it from only charged me twenty dollars, and at first I was like, "This can't be twenty dollars because you know it's a silver eagle." So I was like, "Okay, I'll get that then." And it was guaranteed genuine and stuff, so I got it. And then I noticed on the back it said sixty-seven dollars. I was like, "Okay," and I just hurried up and left the store right whenever I bought this. So this is originally sixty-seven, but I got it for twenty. One ounce silver, 2000, 2006. Okay, first, I want to show you. I wanted to save the best for last, but I don't want to. It's a 2013 American Eagle one ounce silver proof coin. United States Mint. It's a really nice case it comes in, too. United States Mint. Focus. One ounce fine silver. This costed me 55, which was worth it. I mean, but. And then, uh, yeah, I got that. I was really excited about that whenever I saw it, so I grabbed one of those. And I got this uh, penny roll, five, the sand five coin tubes. I this only costed me three forty nine. I usually get these at Hobby Lobby, which cost me like four. So I don't know. I needed some anyway. And, and I got this entire thing plus two books. So I got these two tubes, that, that, and these two books of the Washington Quarters State Collection. All that for $10 was pretty cool, I thought. And then I got this. It's uh, 2013 United States Mint American, the Beautiful Quarters Proof Set. This one comes with a certificate as well. Let's see, it's four coins. It's the state park quarters for 2013. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I paid 15 for that. And a lot of people say that uh, they paid for all of the stuff that they have. Really, they didn't. Most of the time, their dad bought it for them, but all of this I did by myself. I actually have a job. But anyway, I got this historic United States Nichols coin collection. This I paid 35 for. I don't know, it was pretty unique, that's why I got it, because it's, uh, the, it's a case to put on the wall, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for now, guys, but I had a really fun time at Denver, the Denver Mint, so if you're planning on going, I would really highly suggest it, so please like and subscribe, it would help me out, and please comment if you have questions, peace.